Hey everyone, it's Mark Huber here broadcasting to you live from beautiful Vancouver, Canada. And uh, just want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to join me live or on the, uh, the replay broadcast. Uh, as you may or may not know, I help uh, individuals, entrepreneurs, um, and business people, perhaps just like you, uh, grow an audience and uh, learn how to uh, generate revenue from those relationships. And uh, today, I wanted to talk briefly about um, your feelings of uh, perhaps being a fraud in business. Um, and uh, that's something that uh, is, uh, um, I, I think, specifically timely uh, for people uh, more and more who are coming online, who are looking to uh, uh, replace their 9-to-5 job or augment their 9-to-5 job um, with a uh, secondary income. And um, um, they have specialized knowledge, perhaps. So they have hobbies and interests that they would like to uh, find out how to monetize. Um, they, they have an idea and they want to run with the idea, but they feel like a fraud. They feel like they don't know enough. Uh, they feel like they are not uh, ready. Um, if they have told their family and friends what their goals and intentions are, their family and friends may be telling them to stop, to, to laugh at them, uh, saying that, you know, who do they think they are? Uh, very briefly, for those of you that know my story, um, bear with me for a moment for those that don't. Um, by way of background, uh, for almost 30 years, I've been a successful certified financial planner working here in the Vancouver, Canada area. And um, in recent years, I've transitioned and now have fully made the, uh, the full transition to uh, the online world. Uh, as a financial planner, my uh, desire was always to help people achieve their uh, personal and financial goals, and I was very successful doing so. Uh, my frustration, though, was uh, not being able to help uh, those people who could benefit by having more income coming into their lives uh, to give us a little more of a, a boost, a head start, if you will, to, to helping them more rapidly and quickly achieve those goals. And that's why I uh, started learning uh, about marketing and uh, creating and monetizing uh, ideas, passions, purpose, hobbies, interests, specialized knowledge, and uh, utilize those tips, tools, strategies in my financial planning business. And it allowed me the opportunity to start coaching along those lines and then made the full transition. So now I can help people get online. Uh, and monetize their knowledge, ideas, hobbies, skill sets, things of that nature to either create that secondary income that they're looking for or perhaps even working to a full-on income. Um, I talk about um, feeling like a fraud because back when I was first starting as a young buck, as a financial planner, uh, obviously I wanted to target people that had money so that I could talk to people with money about... Um, helping them uh, manage their money. And um, that's when the feelings of feeling like a fraud uh, first surfaced, because here I was as a young, you know, 20-something uh, chap, uh, talking to individuals uh, who, you know, to all intents and, peer and appearances, were doing uh, well and were successful uh, with the large home, uh, nice car in the driveway, nice address, um, you know, and a, and a, and a decent uh, income. Although when we looked at the financial plan and really got down to the, uh, the budget and such, um, there was a lot of debt on the, um, on the table. Uh, and uh, in many cases, they were using expensive lines of credit and debt to support their, uh, their lifestyle. Um, However, I, I still felt like a phony because these were people that were making, at that point, uh, a higher income than I was, and to all intents and purposes looked uh, much uh, more successful than I, uh, with my Jetta parked curbside against their Mercedes. Uh, nonetheless, as I say, that was me starting out, and uh, you know, time changed. Uh, and my car changed, and my headdress changed, and everything changed, but what first had to change was my feeling of insecurity and that I wasn't a fraud. Fortunately for me, uh, within the uh, 
company that I was working with um, was a wise um, individual who had spent many years in the financial planning industry and um, kind of took me under his wing, uh, a bit of a mentor, and I will appreciate him and his knowledge and, and wisdom and wit to this day because he said to me, kid, you know, you know more than the people that you're talking to. In fact, to be considered an expert, quote unquote, all you have to know is just a little bit more than your target audience or your ideal prospect. And I thought about that for a moment. And then he went on to say, kid, when you were in grade three, what did you think of the people in grade four? And I said, well, you know, they were grade four. They were smart. They were, they were big shots. They were, you know, grade fours. He said, exactly. And what was the differentiation between grade three and grade four? And I thought about it for a while and I said, well, just a little bit of knowledge. And he said, exactly. He said, don't pretend that you're a guru and that you know it all because you don't and you never will. Doesn't matter what industry you are in, you will never know it all. And be very frank and upfront with people. When you come across a question that you not know, say, I don't know that, but I will get the answer for you right away. People appreciate that. They don't expect you to know everything, but they do want to know that you care. That's how you build credibility in the industry that you're in. And that's what people really want. They don't care about your credentials. They just want to know that you care about them. Once you've established that, then they obviously care that you know what you know. And if you can articulate what you know, that's when you will get people as a client and you will obviously then start getting referrals because you will have happy clients where you have been straightforward and honest with them and said that you're not a guru. In fact, I like these days to think of myself as a learn out loud person. I don't know it all. People shouldn't expect me to know it all. And I'm very forthright in saying I don't know it all. But that's the beauty of life. We don't know it all. We are all learning in our own way. Some of us have more specialized knowledge in certain areas than others. The thing with life is to pull the um, individuals that have specialized knowledge in areas that you want to know more of and learn and follow from them. And if they are uh, worthy of your time and interest, um, spend you know the time and the uh, attention necessary to get the information that you need to uh, more effectively and efficiently uh, do what it is that you want so that you can get ultimately the things that you want. Uh, at the end of the day, the way you get what you want is to help as many people that you can possibly get what they want. Uh, doing it in an ethical manner is what I have always preached and believe is the, the best way to uh, to interact and to have a, a business that you are excited to wake up to in the morning and that you are proud of when you go to bed in the evening. So I just want to reiterate, please, the only way you can stop feeling like a fraud is by giving yourself the permission to say, I'm not an expert, but I do know a little bit more than the people and those in my audience. I'm continuing to learn and to grow and happily impart that knowledge and information on an ongoing basis to my audience. And that's what your audience wants and that's what they appreciate. So collectively you collaborate, you grow, you learn together and money changes hands as value is exchanged. So uh, didn't mean to go on but I just hope that uh, these thoughts will calm you down and give you a sense of uh, redirection uh, uh,
steps to your goals and ambitions. Give yourself the permission to say, I'm not a fraud. I know more than many. Uh, I don't know perhaps as much as some. And, and really, when you think of it, the so-called experts in the world, in whatever specific industry they are in, they're always continuing. They are going to seminars, they are going to, um, you know, plenary sessions where others of, of their profession hang out. They're, they're talking to one another at the breakout sessions over cocktails after the, uh, the day's seminar events. They're still learning, they're still passionate about research and, and um, n knowing uh, and learning from their peers and colleagues, uh, learning is never ending. So we should all be um, lifelong students of learning. And that said, imparting that wisdom on an ongoing basis, freely and openly, uh, to those that, uh, that are part of our audience that choose to follow us. And speaking of creating an audience, uh, the most valuable thing that you can do is, in again, give yourself permission to have your own voice, to find your message, to find your, your passion, to uh, utilize the gifts that each of us have. And uh, with the internet it, 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 as, as a fantastic medium, it, of course, as I've said before, it uh, may not be our fault if we are born poor, but it will definitely be our fault if we die poor. We all have a message, we all have unique talents and skills, it's just a matter of finding what they are, gives us the permission to say, I know more than many, and I'm going to broadcast my message to many and help as many people as I can with my message. By so doing, you will not only have created a, a better place in the world uh, with your message to many, but also you will have helped yourself, your family, and perhaps even started a legacy with that uh, knowledge bank and also with the money that you make along the way. And that's a good thing because without that, you would be out of business and you couldn't continue to spread your message and do the things that you are passionate about to help um, make a better world in, in your own way. So I want to thank you for your time. And um, as always, um, all the very best of continued success. Please, give yourself permission to believe that you're not a fraud, that you're not an imposter. You know more than many, so go out there and do your thing. And uh, uh, again, all the, uh, all the best uh, of continued success uh, until my next broadcast. Uh, Mark Huber from Vancouver, Canada, uh, where I help uh, individuals, business owners, and entrepreneurs uh, grow their audience and uh, learn how to uh, create revenue uh, from your relationship. Bye for now.